It seems crazy, but 60% of millennials couldn't afford a $1,000 unexpected bill. Seems like a lot of people out there rolling the dice to me. We gotta do better. Growing up, a $1,000 bill would've knocked us right out. My parents worked incredibly hard. They worked long days, um, did everything they were supposed to do. It was no fault of their own, but three kids, you know, a house, a mortgage. My dad drove trash trucks, 30 years. Wake up 4 o'clock every morning, get back home about 4 o'clock every day. You know, no complaints, just do, do his job. My mom worked with mentally and physically disabled kids, did her job every day, worked hard, came home, did what she was supposed to do. But an unexpected bill is, is one of us getting sick, you know, one of us breaking our arm, then all of a sudden you got a $1,000 medical bill. Or somebody's car, you know, somebody's tires blow out, then you got an unexpected bill. You know, and that's, that's not that uncommon, that's not that crazy, but that, that happening to our family would have been really difficult. So that pushed me and it motivated me to work harder. You know, as a kid in, in, in LA, the Watts, South Central, like you don't, I, I don't know how I'm gonna get myself out of it. I don't know how I'm gonna be different. I'm planning, I'm in my head, I'm striving that, man, I'm gonna have an emergency fund. I'm gonna have, you know, income that, that, I, can, that I can play with, that I can splurge, I, can, I, won't, I won't be in the same boat. I didn't know how I was going to do it, honestly, because I was in the same situation, had the same 25 hours everybody else had. But I worked hard. You know, I got some some good breaks, um, got some good direction from great parents, and got to Sanford, and the rest is history. Hustle in. We're going to set up your emergency fund right now. Bingo, Richard Sherman. Listen, seriously, you got to build your emergency fund. You got to start doing that right now. N-O-W. Reach into your pockets, pull out whatever change you got, and shove it into a goldfish bowl. Now, find more ways to make this fun grow. Maybe you use uh, whatever pocket change you have each day. Maybe commit to adding 10 bucks each week. You can replenish it with a tax refund each year. I don't care, host a garage sale, selling all your old crap. Use whatever strategy comes to mind, but do something. All right, step two, keep this emergency fund separate from all your other accounts. Give this nest egg space, let it grow. Don't touch it unless absolutely necessary. Look, listen, you start a new savings account, you literally call it an emergency fund. I know, look, very important. Make sure your bank isn't charging you a fee to park your money in this account. And make dang sure you got access to it at a moment's notice. It's an emergency fund. All right, here we go, step three. Look, even a few hundred dollars could bail you out of an emergency. Now, most experts are gonna tell you you should have three to six months of your expenses saved in your emergency fund. Don't panic. I know it, I know, it sounds like a lot. Look, guys, just like putting on weight in the off season. You do it one step at a time. The point is, is you start right now. You just keep building it. And you only touch it if absolutely necessary. Those unexpected bills can be like a boogie monster. Boogie monster. Unexpected bills? So you better keep adding to that emergency fund or else. You're adulting now. So adult, I?